So hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Glenn and today we're looking at some sandstones. So we have different variety of sandstone and as an end member we have a mudstone and a conglomerate. So sandstone has a measurement of 0 0.0625 to 2 millimeters. So what we're looking at is, if we look at the measurement, so the maximum size we would have is two millimeters. And then we have under half. So the size variation of any type of uh, rock can vary. And there is a tolerance for uh, any of these rocks so if we say take this rock and see yeah, the rock fragments are on a lower scale so what do we have here okay we have a quartz sandstone we have a found specific sandstone of volcano clastic sandstone and a Lithic sandstone or a gray, <laughs> gray whack. So what is the difference? These are just made of different materials. So the quartz sandstone is basically made out of quartz. And all of these would have been derived being a sedimentary rock from pre-existing rocks that are either ever sedimentary rocks uh, igneous rocks or even metamorphic rock that has been eroded and this one has lots of large quartz crystals and as you can see it's pink so it probably does have uh, some plagioclase or feldspars in the actual rock so that is the Quartz sandstone. So the feldspar sandstone, as as you know, has feldspar in it, and these are grains of feldspar. It could also have a significant portion of quartz. Uh, some definitions are the quartz rock is pretty much ninety percent quartz. The feldspar is about 25% and high of feldspar so it can have a significant portion it's not feldspar more than likely quartz but it can also have some biotite in it and it's a bit hard to see the rock fragments so we just zoom in also the lighting uh, it's a bit hard to see anyway hopefully I can get a another fine camera to do the work for us and this one is a volcanoclastic rock so this is derived from volcanic material um, more than likely it looks like it might be a basalt derived rock so yeah, yeah. where is the basalt rock so here I have a basalt and this is uh, the volcano classic, so we're not too sure what type of material the pre-existing rock was. Unless you know the mineral composition or the uh, geology of the area. Uh, it's a bit hard to tell what the pre-existing rock. But because it's dark, it could be, I don't know, a, a gabbro, a basalt, something like that. Uh, could be a granodiorite or diorite just a lot of dark crystals and as you can see a lot of large crystals uh, are still in there so the erosion has not been fully so hasn't been broken up into the smaller um, fragments that you usually find in a sedimentary rock and the last one we have is a lithic so this is a pre-existing rock that has been weathered but it hasn't been weathered into individual grains so you can 
see large grains of that look like uh, crystals and so you've got a large fragment there most of them are quite small another large fragment could be biotite um, not biotite could be hornblende uh, and these ones usually look like this dark grey colour and if you pretty much pick this up you probably think it's a igneous rock as well as a volcano classic so you need to know the actual deposition environment and any experience and in geological map we can actually tell you that so that is the four types of sedimentary rock I have here uh, there are other types of sedimentary rock but these are sandstones so sand sized grains and if we compare that with uh, a conglo uh, conglomerate so this has large uh, gravel cobbles and also boulders can be included you can see the large uh, fragments of rock sometimes when they break out they see leaves smooth surfaces uh, looks like there might be a quartz and these contain rocks of different types uh, looks like it might be basalt and the sedimentation well there's a whole lot of sedimentation you can have silica calcite hematite luminite feldspars gypsums clays there's just a few and the sedimentation on this one's probably well, probably I don't I really don't know I've never actually done a mineralogical test on it uh, could be a limestone that's pretty dark in color uh, probably a lot of organics or it could be I don't know it could be a clays but that's a nice rock there and on the other side we have a mudstone so this has uh, Fragments of rock that are smaller than the 0 0.0625 millimeters. And mudstone includes silt, clays, and colloids. This one here is probably silt. It is, you can see that there's a rough surface. If it was clay, it would probably be very smooth. So this is probably a siltstone. And as you can see, it has a rounded surface. So this is a core sample. So they drilled it into the rock uh, to get this sample. So uh, I'm not too sure how deep this sample was taken. It's actually quite nice. So to recap, the quartz sandstone is made of quartz. It felt specific. Sandstone is made of 25% or more feldspars, can have lots of quartz and uh, biotites. Then we have the volcanoclastic sandstone, uh, small grains of volcanic material, so you've got different types of volcanic rocks, so you need to do mineral analysis. But it's safe to say, if uh, it is a rhyolite, then this sandstone would be a lot lighter than if it was a basalt. So because it's a dark colour, it could be basalt or it could be a diorite. Then we have a lithic. So this is made from ancient pieces of uh, source rock, uh, but not not um, eroded to individual grains. So if you get a microscope, you could see the larger. I wouldn't say crystals because you wouldn't see like a, a crystal of biotite or of pyroxene you probably see a let's have a look at a metamorphic rock if i can get one i've still got some on the table so you probably have so you see this is uh the granite uh, you got the quartz pyroxene uh, horn blend amphibole so you see you've got the dark and the light colours. So you might have a little fragment that contains both the dark and light colours, but it's just been rounded by the action of water in the river and in the uh, 
wherever this is deposited, probably a delta. And so the fragments of rock will not be pretty much just one type of mineral. That will be a variety of minerals. And some of them are quite big, some of them are quite small. But I haven't actually checked yet to see if, which one is which. Anyway, so that is the sandstone series of rock. There are different them, types of sandstones. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, show them in the future. But these are the four most common that you will find in geology. Uh, the most common is probably these two. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you have fun with geology and also have an awesome time collecting rocks and fossils. Thank you and goodbye.